Hi, this is Christine. Good morning. It's um, September 2nd, 2014 in the morning. My intention today was to do some cleaning. Um, we just came out of the Labor Day weekend, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. <clears throat> I've been doing lots of work, actually. I've been working, and um, today seems to be my first day that I actually have some free time to get some stuff done. So my plan today was to um, do some cleaning, vacuuming, I was going to uh, wash the sheets, wash laundry, do some dishes, vacuum, just do the standard, and maybe go for a walk, kind of get myself back into the routine. And what came to me was clean your house. If you think about it, nobody wants to live in a dirty house. You know, a cluttered house. And that's um, pretty much anybody. I mean, you, you don't really want to live in a dirty house. Well, what came to me is neither does God. And his house is our temple, our body. I know that verse about God does not dwell in temples made with hands. You know that our body is his temple. I know that verse, but it wasn't until probably two nights ago that it actually hit me. I was I was in the bathroom actually looking in the mirror and when I looked at myself, I realized that God was telling me that His temple is what I'm looking at. It's my body. And this goes for all of us. He doesn't... I mean, He even told David, you know, when David said he wanted to build a tabernacle for the Lord because the Lord was dwelling in tents and here David was living in a nice house. And God said, what temple can you build me? You know, heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. There's no house that can contain me. And he doesn't dwell also in buildings that man creates with his own hands. Like Solomon's temple. I mean, for a time he did, but... I mean, it was actually the Shekinah glory that dwelt there. That's what... That's what made it his home. Because wherever God dwells, that's his home. And, um... He's not going to give the honor and glory to mankind. You know, where they go and build their bricks and build their house or their buildings or their towers or whatever. And then they're going to say, God lives here. I mean, God's not going to give the glory to man's hands. He dwells in a temple that he built himself. He doesn't need man building him a temple. He doesn't mean he doesn't need man in his fallen state to do anything for him, really, except just submit and surrender and work with him instead of fighting him. But um it's it's your your house, your body is the temple that God wants to dwell in. And he wants a clean house to dwell in. And that's why clean your house is what came to me this morning. I wanted to clean my physical house that I dwell in, that I live in. But God wants us also to look at our body and clean our house our body, our temple, clean it of darkness, you know, a filth of whatever is not of the Lord that goes with, that you know, that goes with food also, what you're putting in your body food-wise. You just want to clean Clean your temple, clean your house, declutter it, 
dust it, mop the floors, um, change the sheets, you know, everything that we do in our physical house to maintain it. Look at that in a spiritual sense and imagine it inside your own body and then clean your house clean your body house your temple house what's inside of you so that God can dwell in there because he doesn't want to dwell in a cluttered and dirty home and your body is his home so um that's what came to me today and I'm going to go with it. I don't know exactly how the Lord's going to lead me in this, but I'm willing to surrender and go with it. And I know that He'll He'll guide me um, in what I need to do to clean out my house, my temple, my house. So when I'm cleaning my physical house, you know, that I live in, I'm going to be... Um, looking at how I can clean my spiritual house also because just as I would like to live in a clean home God wants to live in a clean home and our body is his home so we don't want to destroy it with um, you know things that are not good Paul in scripture says all things are permissible but not all things are beneficial that means that you're permitted to do anything you want because in the spirit you have liberty but just because you're permitted to do it you know you're allowed to do it doesn't mean it's going to be good for you somebody can hand you some chips of paint from off of a house but that's not good to eat just like putting sugar in your gas tank when your gas tank needs gasoline in your car you don't want to do that either just like you're permitted to jump off of a bridge and commit suicide but that's not good either you know all things are permissible we have liberty in the spirit but just because we have liberty doesn't mean it's beneficial for us and whatever we're doing to our temple to our body we have to look at it. Is this beneficial to us and to God? You know, is, is what we're doing to our body helping us or is it hurting us? And is it making our temple, our dwelling place, some place that the Lord wants to sit down and take off his shoes and kick up his feet and be comfortable and make, his ho make your house his home because he wants to dwell with you. But he doesn't want to come into your home if it's cluttered and it's stinky and smelly, you know, because you're not taking care of it. So this is just something that um, came to me because I was planning. I have free time today and I was planning on doing housework. And the Lord just told me, clean your house. So, you know, it's, it's two-sided. And um, I'm going to be focusing on and um, praying over and letting God lead me in how to clean my body, temple, house. Because I want the Lord to come and live in this temple that he created with his hands. And he did create my body with his hands he created all of our bodies with his hands because he knit you in the womb according to Jeremiah he knit you in the womb he is the one who created your arms your legs your whole your body everything you weren't created by man you were created by him in the womb so you are his temple and that's why you know churches and buildings um, that are built by man's hands. God may go there to search for people who are looking for him, but that's not where he dwells. 
He dwells in you if you will allow it, if you will clean your house and make a place for him. And I think he wants us to do that for all of us. Okay, that's some... Um, Part of that is also turning from darkness to light. Everybody's got their own walk, so I just wanted to share that. It was um, eye-opening for me, and hopefully it'll be a benefit to someone else, too. Have a great day, everyone. God bless, and take care. Okay, bye-bye.